Hi everyone, it's Jay from Idoso Crafts. Thank you for joining me today. We're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products that you see me use today. Uh, so head on to our website, mitosocrafts.com or uh, via the links below, and you'll be able to purchase your craft supplies from us. So today I'll be sharing a card with the Cuckoo for You stamp set and the coordinating Cuckoo Clock dies. So you might have seen our uh, video for uh, last Sunday, just gone with the interactive card and the gift box. But it's such a fun card because um, fun stamp set and dies, and it's at, currently at a bundle saving you 10% off from the 2019 to 2020 annual catalog. So yeah, so the mechanism, uh, it lets you cut that out and you'll be able to open the the door from the cuckoo clock, which is so much fun. Um, so for today, I'm actually going to change it up and not use that mechanism. I'll be using only a couple of the images, like what I did with the gift box. And um, I'll be using colors from Papercraft Crew challenge so the challenge is using three of these pineapple punch poppy parade blueberry bushel and <laughs> granny apple green uh, so i'm gonna try and use up all of them but i might just use a few um, so the card will be quite simple looking Hopefully, but uh, there will be a lot of technique on there. So a bit of sponging, die cutting, uh, stamping, obviously, and some blending as well. As in like using the <laughs> stamping blends, I mean. Okay, so the card base is 10.5. Uh, so that's 21 centimeters um, at the bottom. 14 centimeters up so that is eight and a quarter by five and a half folded in half so folded in half at 10.5 and four and one eight so with that done i'll be using the tree half the clock i guess and i'm using the stamp the marker to stamp technique so this is the water-based marker so it's not your alcohol blends so this one with the thicker line that will be your brush so you basically just I just want to see where I'm going to be yeah so using the side of it if you just run through the image where you want the ink to transfer to so which is quite nice uh it's a good technique so you you don't have to obviously stamp the full image and the flourish is really um funky actually so it's quite a nice flourish within that cuckoo clock so i'm just gonna try and do this as quickly as i can so with the darker I chose crumb cake just because it's a neutral and it's it's a free free color with the challenge. Um, so I'm just doing that. We'll do the heart as well. So I believe that's all the image is done. So once that's done, you just need to re-energize the ink on there by huffing on it. So there we go. And I'm just going to line that up. So I'm going to have an, a panel down there. There we go. And because it's not always like a one uh, you stamp image in a way, it creates the texture on your project which I don't mind so I'm just gonna highlight some of the image on there using granny apple green 
light and poppy parade light as well so we'll do the dots and the flower there we go and the heart again you don't have to be quite particular it might add to the design of the card in the end but we will see because I was playing around with this stamp set earlier and I did another card with a lot more sponging so I thought I'll do one panel instead which is uh, here on Thick Whisper White uh, so it, because it's a panel it might hopefully just be easier to keep in place so that is one inch by five and a half so that is around 2.5 centimeters by 14 centimeters okay i'll just get a piece of paper play with and i'm actually gonna use what shall i use blueberry bushel um, i was trying to think of a way of incorporating all the inks but I don't think I can <laughs> so I'm just gonna use blueberry bushel uh, so stamping sponges cut in a quarter so again as always just start off the page if you want a nice blend and then onto your project so if the camera Goes a bit wobbly. I'm sorry. So there we go. And then, ah, oh, so if I only do yellow at the bottom, that's all my colors done, right? Yes. Obviously, you can change up the color. Um, a nice lighter one for like balmy blue might be good for this. But I quite like the gradient of that and the dramatic effect and atmosphere it adds onto the card, hopefully. Because. Ooh, oh no! Yeah. You don't want to do that okay so hopefully i can hide that okay right let's see yeah i'll be able to hide it okay cool Whew. panic over yes concentrate and keep that in one place okay so if i use pineapple punch I'll use that at the bottom. It's a really bright color. And when it meets, hopefully it'll turn into green. Okay. So, pineapple punch off the page and onto your card. So, I'm just adding a bit more there just to build up the color before I move off across so then that will just hit the blueberry bushel a little bit there we go right that is enough okay that is done so with i'll just add a bit more of the blue just to make sure that's done there we go so that's my sponging done and i'm actually gonna add that onto there but before I do that, um, I'll finish off the images. So I have 
actually done my coloring with the blends. So this is the squirrel with a smoky slate combo. Mm. Yeah, smoky slate with the bronze and the color lifter. I did add the light basic black on there for the shadows. So that was stamped in Memento. And this one is granny apple green and ivory. No, bronze. <laughs> with, again, the light um, basic black underneath on the trunk. So I'll quickly, hopefully, do... Uh, yeah, I'll show you how i done them uh, briefly. So with Memento, just to give you some maybe tips, hopefully. Uh, if I do it there and the tree which is I think it's back in the there we go. so I'll do that quickly so you can have a look at how I've colored that
so that is it for my card with the cuckoo for you stamp set with a bit of marker to stamp technique sponging ink blending stamping blends <laughs> splattering so quite a lot of techniques there but hopefully you like that idea um, so head on over to our online shop if you like any of the products that you see me use today uh, links for the supplies will be down below subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so to, to be notified when we upload new videos thank you so much again today uh, thank you again so much thank you so much for joining me again today until next time bye